Hey, what's up, fam? Two key parts within this chapter for Heldorn Haguma, and uh, those things I want to go over are, one, it looks like this is going to be kind of his main weapon, his main ability with this hand zero, assuming this, you know, uh, as zero, it should be his first one. I don't know why people pick zero, and they shouldn't just... Everyone else should be one, but because cool naming zero, maybe it wasn't his, and one was the first one he ever obtained himself, and this was... Maybe somebody else's, like his grandfather's. Also, the bits of character we got from Hoguma this chapter. So, I mean, you could really kind of sum down a chapter. You have the the, the demon who uh, talked about how he just wanted to live, and you could tell from Hoguma there was definitely some compassion, some understanding in there. But when it came down to the, the further portions of the demon's uh, the whole mindset in the matter, that even though he just wanted to live and he, he didn't like stealing life force, the way he viewed the elderly and, you know, just these people who were already on their way out and their life force wasn't very important at that point. It, it, you could tell that it was from the last few chapters that there's definitely some bits within Haguma's character that that really were going to be played out here. And it, it seems like that is specifically stuff to do with his grandfather uh we, we saw it in a flashback that he's got some form of some some form of trauma there I'm, or, or i'm guessing that he's you know his grandfather was a hell ward before him and something happened where he died and we're probably going to see that within then i'd say probably the first or second arc of the series find out a little bit about it so it, like i said it was, it was really nice to see that Kind of first real glimpse in Higuma's character, not just the overall kind of uh, the base layout, him being this extremely lazy in everyday activities guy. He doesn't really like confrontation. He doesn't really want to put in a lot of effort. But when he's working, he you know he gets serious. But now we actually found some deeper portions to his you know his personality, to his backstory, and to what exactly you know made him the way he is. And I think that's pretty interesting from. As early series standpoint, because the whole point about, you know, when you when you get into the very freshness of a series, you know, it's not just, oh, yeah, I'm going to get into this and it's 300 chapters in. You know, it's different when you binge read it all. But when it's fresh like this, it's brand new and you're finding out, you know, pretty much everything about it with um, uh, practically the entire rest of the fan base, really. It, it, it's a lot different. It's, it, it's so much more of a... Really, just a, I can just say a fresh feel. You're getting it as with everyone else as you're going along, and it's it's really nice to see what you're gonna you know expect, and you can formulate with other people how it's gonna go. And it looks like we're gonna be seeing some of this trauma with Higuma. Probably, uh, I'll probably get a little bit of a flashback or some information, you know, a little bit of teaser within the next chapter, or you know, at least uh, something up and coming. Maybe like an, a Ford arc. There's probably going to be something like say. With Bleach, you had Grand Fisher, you know, the one that Ichigo had such problems with, uh, having been the one that killed his mother. Uh, maybe we'll see that within Hellworn Haguma. Maybe there is a demon that ended up killing his grandfather. We'll find out exactly what that is, because the only thing we really do know for a fact now is that there is some form of deeper connection that he had with his grandfather. You know, it, it didn't just say, like, oh, something happened with him. It, you know, we hinted at it, but I think a lot of us can at least determine that something happened along, you know, his life that had made some serious effects on something sudden and abrupt. Just the way that it was kind of laid out in this chapter, both the happy memory mixed with sad current events. So we're going to figure out exactly, I keep saying that, I don't know why, I, there's always something I keep repeating whenever I do a video, but it, it's going to be a very interesting kind of start to the way that Higuma's character is. Because it's going to be very telling of what exactly made him this serious character only when working. But in reality, like outside of that, he just can't be bothered with a lot of, you know, a lot of activities. To the point where he uses these severed hands of, of demons and spirits that were condemned to hell for however many years. And he's using them for, like, making his breakfast and playing smash brothers with it it's it's going to be definitely something to to catch an interest and will it be something probably as easy as 
you know, his grandfather was killed on the job, potentially. It's definitely going to be how it was handled and how exactly it affected him as a person. So, like I said, we'll, we'll see that hopefully soon. Uh, like I said, probably within the first or second arc, uh, it'll probably be fleshed out more, figure out a lot more about it. But for now, it's going to be mostly it for, for this video. It's The last two were very, very quick to go over chapters because it was... It mostly just was about setting up the fight, and this was executing the fight. And the only other thing I can really go over is that this, I don't know, this uh, blade, the Hellblade, uh, what's that, Kainagi? Kainagi? I don't know how to pronounce it, but super badass looking. And even though I like that it's somebody would use a club, just this interesting looking sword by itself, it's also, you know, a big plus. So drop a comment below on what you think about this chapter and about the series itself. Have you been enjoying the series? Are you interested? Well, you know, what's your take on it? It's definitely something that I'm, uh, I've been having fun time reading. It's, it's not as, a, as kind of eye-catching as Chainsaw Man, but it's definitely consistently feeling like a nice new shonen. So hopefully you can survive the cut and make it in, uh, you know, go as long as the author can. But other than that... Like I said, uh, if you can, like the video, thumbs up the video, and subscribe if you like this kind of content, you want to see some more, and check out my other videos. But other than that, thank you everyone who's already subscribed, and thank you all for listening. Bye.